I remember him approaching me and saying, I have some questions for you, but it's not related to my teeth. And it's like, okay. I never thought he would use this <laughs> for that. It's not known throughout the church at all. <laughs> they, they wouldn't believe you. We don't bring it up. Right. So that was my mom and dad. Before I tell you about my parents' secret room full of nipples, let me tell you a little bit more about them. What were your first impressions of dad? Not quite cool enough, you know. That's right. She was a hippie. You know how they say, opposites attract. My dad was an entrepreneur. Peter. Stuff on. Mom is always there helping him with his other business ventures. Hello. To say we grew up conservative was definitely an understatement. Well, we're all rich, aren't we? We're rich in the Lord. He catches the one kiss of the episode, and the show is now banned. As parents and as business partners, they were inseparable. The phone rang, and it was a doctor telling me the results came back cancer, and you'll have to have surgery within the next couple of weeks. It does feel strange, even after I had my breast reconstruction, to look in the mirror and just see one nipple. It was just a constant reminder of what cancer had taken from us. There is no good way to reconstruct the nipple. And I said, well, can I figure this out? There was just all of these like swatches and swabs. It was like very clear he just like didn't want us in there. Brian's personality is one not to accept the status quo. The doctor saw that and was pretty impressed. He was amazed. Wow! There's clearly a need out there. And they jumped into it. A lot of us don't know as much about this business as we should. Because of your mom and dad, when I look in the mirror, I don't say, you've had cancer. He's changed my life that much. There's so many people need this. And I'm truly grateful to you. This is a part of their love story. It's a big part of their life. It's not an easy question to respond to when people say, so what kind of work do you do? <laughs> Brian pretty much avoids it. I avoid it. So this, this is what my dad does.